What's up everyone? I'm Sketchy Brett, YouTube sketchiest artist. And if you're like me, you've seen a lot of this when people are teaching perspective. Only to pick an image to find your vanishing point is somewhere over here, all the way off the page. So today, I'm gonna solve that for you once and for all. Okay, so we've all seen this. This is how everybody teaches perspective on YouTube and pretty much any other platform. Draw your horizon line, your height, and then you have your vanishing point, and then you connect them up, and then they'll say something like, and there's the edge of your building, and there's the other edge of your building, and there you have it, perfect perspective. So you go, well, yeah, great, seems easy. So you pull out your reference image and you go, well, let me take my perspective line down. Let me take my perspective line up here. Cool. And then I go this side. And then I go to the top. And well, I got a problem. I ran out of paper. And that's with this tiny little image. But don't worry, there is a solve. And I'm gonna show you that to you right now. So we take another copy of this. So you tape down your image just so that it's not going to move. We do the same as before. Drawing this side. This side's fine because there's our vanishing point. But now this side is where we ran into trouble. So we draw it to the edge of the page. We draw it to the edge of the page. And then we look where they're going to intersect, somewhere around here. We put a piece of tape on the table and we keep going with our lines. So there, we now have both. We can then also work out our horizon line. So then you can take this. And there's your vanishing point. If you're finding this helpful, just remember that if you're a Patreon supporter or a member on this channel, you're gonna get a bonus tip at the end. And if you're not, please consider joining. And now what we can do is get our main dimensions. We just place this underneath. We draw a line down from where they intersected at the top, where they intersected at the bottom, straight down from the vanishing point. That vanishing point is off the page, so we won't need to refind it. Then on the side, At the bottom where they intersected and at the top where they intersected. Mm. 
This is just to transfer your image across. So you could do this in pencil, but I'll show you why in a second. So we join these. And we join these. So that's our vanishing point that's on the page. We place the page on top of it. We connect up with our vanishing point off the page. That gives us that angle. And at the bottom, that gives us that angle. And then if you want to work within this, that's fine. If you're still feeling like you need more help, you can then just draw down some guides for the main structures. So we can just do this. Okay, now we put this back, placing it in the same place. That's important. And then we can do the same here if we want the heights. So this top structure comes down this much. So then we can go take that down to the vanishing point. on either side. And that'll give us this top part of our structure. Then we can pick the heights of the next part, there and there. Now we do the same. We know that it comes out to here because we already got that height. Now, this isn't how you would want to do it every time, but it does help you get an understanding of the perspective and how it works. And later on, you'll just be able to do this largely by eye. It also depends how accurate you're looking at being. You can always do that in pencil and then create your own lines afterwards. Then we know we've got this line down here and this overhang is going to come back to this right hand side and then up along to the underside here. So you can see how even though this perspective point is off the page, it's something we can really quite easily use a piece of tape and it's a piece of cake and you don't have to worry about trying to fit your image in. Okay, so once you've done this, throw it away and now you know exactly how to do two-point perspective even when your vanishing points are all the way off the page. Give it a go. Let me know if you've got any questions in the comments below. Now that you've got perspective all sorted out, I've got a video lined up right here 
to teach you how to put people into those scenes. But if you're not in the mood for people, here's a video on arches and perspective. And until next week, keep it sketchy. Ah, Roy Boss. <laughs>